Here's where I stand after today. This is the switch I'm putting in. It's only got three wires. This is the switch that's supposed to go in. It has got five connectors. So, okay, I've had numerous requests over the past while on how to use a multimeter to troubleshoot some circuits. I'm not really troubleshooting a circuit. Is what I'm doing is I'm trying to modify a wiring harness to work with the switch I want to use instead of the switch that it came with. Because the input of the switch I got has five plugs on the back and the one I'm sticking in only has three, which is gonna have the uh, factory Jeep outlet. So let's go to that video and uh, let's have a look. Okay, <clears throat> I'll try to do this best I can. So this is the output that's gonna go to the switch. So it says switch two, switch one, and the isolation switch. So this would be if I'm hooking up the air locker to front and rear lockers and I need them to be isolated from separately. So <clears throat> this is what's supposed to be plugged into this switch here. But unfortunately I'm only using this one right here. So looking at our wiring harness here, this is the one that you're supposed to connect to the plastic plug-in right there that in turn is gonna go inside here so we know we got one yellow one green a ground and a red so let's follow this down the line so I know the relay is gonna get plugged in here that's pretty common sense so we know we have a green and a yellow wire going in so this would be if I need two solenoids that are separate for a front or rear locker if I want to have that route this one here plugs into the air compressor and this is for your pressure switch so I'm going to assume that the red wire is going to connect to the pressure switch and then the other wire the blue one is going to go to the relay so let's get the multimeter out and have a look Okay, so right now I got the red wire connected to my multimeter. And, where the fuck's the other end? This is for my pressure switch, so if I hook up the red, it should give me a reading, which is perfect. Now if I plug it into the blue, whoops, still gonna say overload, but now, if I go to the blue plug-in, where the fuse is, or where the relay is, it connects. <clears throat> so I know how that works. So I need to hook up the positive to this in order to engage the relay for the air compressor to come on. So now I got my switch hooked up, and it's saying overload, because the switch is turned off. Now if I flick the switch on, See, now it's perfect. Flick it off. Flick it on. Off. So I know I gotta hook up an external power source to this, which is going to go down the, the white wire, <clears throat> which is gonna be connected to this red one here, which is in turn gonna go to the pressure switch. Now the pressure switch is gonna be normally closed, which means if there's no pressure in the air compressor all the circuit is going to be completed but if there is pressure and the pressure switch is tripped then it's going to be an open circuit which will stop power transferring to the blue wire which will stop engaging the relay so now that we got that all sorted out let's start hooking up this wiring harness with my ARB air compressor mounted I just plugged in the power wires and this is your pressure switch on the back it's 12 volts through both terminals so it doesn't matter which way you have it connected these two wires here would be if you had solenoids coming out of here for like front or rear lockers so now I'm not gonna put the relay into last but we need to run the wires and hook up their positive and negative one of those two grounds that I connected are connected to this ground here, so when I hook up my switch, I don't need to find a new ground because I got it connected right here and grounded to the bolt, and I am reading that it's good. Take it off, overload. Continuity is right there, baby. We're all set. So I got <clears throat> the white is the power output going to the red, which will go back down the relay, the ground to ground, and then my full-time power. 
because that's the way I'm hooking it up, is hooked up to the cigarette lighter because all it has to do is engage the relay. There's no other draw on it. So now let's put this all back together and see if she's going to work. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to kind of basically figure out a wiring harness and try to make a different switch work for you. Uh, <clears throat> I know wiring can be confusing, but once you start breaking it down and understand how the circuit works, it makes it a whole lot easier. Anyways, I got a fucking cold, so I don't want to talk, so it's fucking beer time. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.